I'm wrapping up work now, Mom, so I'll head home. Good news. I got paid today, so no need to worry about expenses this month. I'll hand over the whole paycheck to you. That's fantastic news. I was getting a bit concerned about the unpaid utility bills, but now that's all taken care of. <laughs> Problem solved indeed. Sorry, Ethan. What? Why? What are you saying sorry for? I'm sorry you have to work even though you're still only 16. Instead of enjoying leisure time with your friends and focusing on your studies, you've taken on the responsibility of working to support our family. I feel ashamed for not being able to provide for us all on my own. Mom, no need to stress about it. I'm doing this because it's my choice. Really. You're not pushing me into it or anything like that. Oh, and just a heads up, I'll be swinging by his Walmart later. Anything you need me to grab for you while I'm there? Just give me a shout, and I'll take care of it. Oh, no worries, honey. I'm actually working the night shift tonight, too, so I'm good. I don't need anything, but thanks for asking. By the way, make sure you cook instead of relying too much on frozen meals. You gotta watch out for your nutrition, all right? Too much of those frozen goodies won't do you any good in the long run. Take care of yourself, okay? Well, looks like it's another solo dinner for me. No worries, though. I'll cook something delicious in the kitchen. Hey, Mom, if you happen to come home earlier than expected, do you want me to save you a portion? Just let me know, and I'll make sure there's something waiting for you. Oh, I'm perfectly fine, honey. I'll eat with my colleagues. But are you sure you're okay, Mom? Lately, it feels like you're working more night shifts than them before. I know you've got so much on your plate, and it's tough to handle everything at once. Just make sure you're taking care of yourself, too. Don't you worry, Ethan. I'm doing just fine. I see how hard you're working for our family, and it motivates me, too. I want to contribute and make things easier for all of us. Trust me, I'm determined to improve our financial situation. Together, we'll make it happen, and things will get better. You're doing amazing, and I'm proud of you. Mom, hear me out. I know you're concerned about me and our family, but please don't push yourself too hard. I don't want you to end up getting sick. Right now, you're the most important person to me and your well-being matters the most. Let's take care of ourselves together, all right? We'll get through this. Trust me. I know my body best, and I can honestly say I'm still doing all right. By the way, you've got this motherly instinct in you, even more than me sometimes. It's pretty funny, to be honest. <laughs> I don't remember ever giving birth to you. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> but I feel more motivated after just talking to you like this. You truly are my rock, son. Thanks for being there for me. Really? I'm so glad to hear that, Mom. Yes, for real. In fact, I now feel pumped up for my night shift now. I can take on anything. Mom, I'll do my best to make you happy. I can't thank you enough for all the sacrifices you've made for me. I mean, you could have moved on after Dad's passing, but you chose to stick around and take care of me. That's huge, and honestly, it makes me feel kind of guilty sometimes when I think about it. Oh, sweetie, don't overthink it. Sometimes I feel like you're way more mature than other guys your age. It's only natural for me to take care of you. Your dad may not be here, but it's my responsibility to give you the best care I can. You mean the world to me, and I'll always be here for you. Anyway, I'm glad I could help. Good luck with your shift. Don't work too hard. Okay. <laughs> I'll be back well past midnight, so just go to bed ahead of me. Roger that. Please be careful, Mom.
Mom, are you okay to talk now? What's up, Ethan? Do you have something on your mind? Just tell me, sweetheart. I came home early from school just now. I know your school called me. Do you have a fever or something? If you don't feel well, should I go home now? Um, no. I'm perfectly fine. I'm not sick or anything, so never mind that. But... Can I ask you a question? Yes, of course you can. Something bothering you? Did your friends tease you for not having a father again? No, not that. You always tell me that Dad passed away, right? But why is he here? I thought he was dead. Huh? Dad? It can't be. Well, when I came back, someone who looked like Dad was near the front door. I couldn't be sure because I've only seen him in pictures, but when I asked him if he was my father, he said yes. Was Dad alive? What's going on? Ethan, you have to run. Quickly! Don't let that man catch you! Huh? Just listen to your mother. Get out of that house quickly and do not listen to that man. Uh, no. Sorry. I was confused, so I didn't explain properly. I told him I don't feel well, then he left soon after, so he's not here now. But why do I have to run away from him? Is he a bad person? I see. That's good. Whew. What a relief. I thought he reached out to you and said something he shouldn't have. So what's going on? He didn't pass away when I was young? Mom, please, explain to me everything. I'm really confused right now. Yeah, you're right. He didn't, unfortunately. That guy you saw was actually your father. Honestly, I didn't want to bring up that man at all, but... I can't deny it if you've seen him. I think it's time I tell you the truth since you've already crossed paths. The whole story about him passing away was a lie. Yeah, I kind of had a feeling. But why did you lie, Mom? I can't believe that I've been living with a lie all this time. It feels pretty unfair to keep me in the dark like that. Can you please explain why you did it? I'm truly sorry, my dear. Trust me, it doesn't sit well with me to have kept that lie from you. But there's a reason behind it. Your father, Douglas, was a truly awful person. Even now, I regret ever marrying him. I wanted to shield you from the truth and protect you from his influence. It was my way of trying to keep you safe and preserve your happiness. I hope you can understand why I made that difficult choice, even if it hurts to know the truth now. Terrible guy? What do you mean by that? Basically, he was a reckless spender. He piled up massive debts, and we were constantly hounded by creditors demanding payment every single month. Oh, I see. So that's how it is. He wasn't always like that before we got married. But once you came into the picture, he vanished. As his spouse, I was left to deal with the mounting debts on my own. It wasn't the life I signed up for, but I had to take responsibility and make sure those debts were paid off. That's how it was. Then the reason why we're always struggling financially is... That's right. Because of the debt your father left us. Then the reason you're still suffering is all his fault? Well, as his wife, they have to take responsibility as well. I'm sorry to have caused you all this trouble. No way. That's why I told you he passed away. You didn't want to know how bad your father was, did you? Maybe not, but... Instead of running away from him, wouldn't it have been better to talk to him? In the short time I talked to him, he seemed mild-mannered enough. Absolutely not. He was planning to get close to you and steal your money too, Ethan. Forget about that man. But did he really go through the trouble of finding me to do that? 
He must have known that we would talk to him about his debt if he came. Just don't. You can't have anything to do with that man anymore. Even if he comes to the house again, don't listen to him, okay? But please, Ethan, don't make me worry. All right, Mom. I'll try. Then it's a promise. He's a bad person, Ethan. Mother always knows best, dear. I only want the best for you, and you know it. I'm glad you got in touch with me, Ethan. I'm glad I gave you my number, just in case. I guess so. I just wanted to ask you something, Douglas. I'm sure you have a lot of questions. I'll answer everything that I can. Thank you, Douglas. Well, um, you don't need to call me Douglas. I am your father, after all. I don't have a father. How could you call yourself that after all the terrible things you left me and my mom to deal with? I suppose I can't blame you for feeling that way. But never mind. I'm glad you and Katrina seem to be doing well. Oh, I guess that's mom to you. Well, it seems like you're still doing pretty well, though. I guess my presence isn't welcomed after all. Doing well? How dare you say that? Huh? What's wrong, Ethan? You took off and left us to clean up the mess you made. Because of you, we're suffering so much. Mom's still paying off your debt. But you still have the nerve to say that? Wait, wait a minute. Debt? What are you talking about? You're playing innocent. I'm talking about how you left and forced Mom to pay your debts. Calm down now. I paid all the debts Katrina had before we got divorced. I can't believe this. But is she in debt again? Huh? My mom is in debt? Not you? Is that what she told you? Yes. That's why she's always working all day. She even has to take on night shifts just to make ends meet. Wait, something seems off here. Oh, I think I get it. What is it? Is there something I'm missing? I'll explain what I can. But before I explain, let's both calm down first. It seems we're not on the same page here. I still haven't heard what you wanted me to ask yet, Ethan. Yeah, I'm sorry, Douglas. I was confused because I heard all these different conflicting stories all at once. That's fine. Then can you tell me what it is you wanted to ask me? What did Katrina say about me? I heard you left us with debt and just disappeared. Now my mom is still returning the debts because they're in her name as well. I see. And the thing you wanted to ask me? Well, it's just that you were running away from us and your debts this whole time. But I was curious about why you came to see us suddenly. Mom said you must be trying to take money from me. I see. I get it now. Then let me explain. One by one. Okay. I'm listening. But don't you dare lie to me. First, as for the debt, I think this is going to come as a shock to you, but it's Katrina who got into debt, not me. Mom did? Was there a reason for that? Maybe this is something you don't want to hear. But Katrina has been a heavy drug user from a young age. She said that she would drop the habit when we got married, but she didn't. It was so bad that she even got into debt paying for it. Drugs? Mom did... Yeah. The biggest reason for the divorce was this. Because she lied and even went into debt because of her addiction. Do you have proof? I need a reason to believe you. Yeah, of course I do. Well, this is the reason why I went to see you now of all times. What's that? I happened to find her secret account on social media earlier. So I found out that she still had this habit. So I started to worry about you. Here's a screenshot of her account. What's this? I can't believe it. I see now. I guess you weren't lying. Actually, I was supposed to get custody over you, Ethan. But she used some underhanded lies to gain sole custody of you. When we got divorced, she wasn't in debt, and there was no paper trail of her debt record in the past. Why couldn't you help my mom earlier? 
If what you said is true, you could have stopped her before the debt got so bad, couldn't you? And you said you were worried about me, but you've never come to see me, even once. Ever since the divorce, Katrina has been denying me from visiting you. And when I got divorced, she wasn't in any debt, so I thought there wasn't any problem. I got remarried after a while, but I've been paying for child support every month. I thought you two were happy without me around, so that's why I stayed away. Alright. I'm sorry, Douglas. I was too harsh on you. No, it's fair. This must be hard to accept, even if there's evidence. Hey, Ethan, I'm thinking of taking you in. Oh, but you got married again, right? Won't I be a burden on your wife? My wife's infertile. She was happy when I told her we might be able to have a son. Right. But if I did that, Mom would be alone. It's just a suggestion. I know you've spent all your life with Katrina so far. You can say no if you're not comfortable with it. So just think about it. Okay, please give me some time. I'm still trying to process everything. I think I need to talk it over with my mom. That's perfectly fine. It's your choice, Ethan. Whatever you decide, I'll respect your choice. Hey, Mom. Where are you now? What's up, Ethan? I'm just at work. Why? So that's how it is. You've been lying to me, like this, all this time. Lying? What on earth are you talking about? You don't have a night shift tonight, do you, Mom? I checked with your workplace, and they told me so. Huh? You checked with my workplace? Why did you do that? Is there some emergency? You didn't get injured or something, did you? I'm okay, but I'm shocked. What is going on, Ethan? Are you really okay? I'm fine, but just answer me this, Mom. Are you with your drug dealer right now? Huh? What are you saying? Dinner with my friends is taking a long time. That's all. I'll go back home soon. I heard everything from Dad. Everything you said was a lie, wasn't it? What did you hear from that man? Ethan, I told you. Do not speak to Douglas. He's going to take advantage of you by feeding you lies. That's not right, is it? It's because your lies will be exposed, isn't it? No, that's not it. I don't know what you were told, but he's someone who has no qualms about telling lies. You can't believe a word he says. I got some extra cash. Now it's time to party. Does that sound familiar? The date of that post matches when I got my paycheck from my workplace. Does extra cash mean the money I gave to you? Where did you find this, Ethan? Who sent it to you? That's not the problem here. Just tell me. Show me where the money I gave you went. If you really used it because money was tight. Or did you really spend it all on drugs? Is this what the night shift has been all along? No, that's wrong. I had no choice but to go there today. My boss asked me to go with him. If you're going to tell a lie, you should come up with a better one. I checked all of your posts on your account. This is hardly your first time. I know it, so tell me the truth. Sorry, Ethan. I knew I needed to stop this. Really, I did. I told myself that I need to get my act together after the divorce, that I need to support my son. So I knew I couldn't waste money like before. But you couldn't stop yourself, could you? And you even went into debt. I tried to stop it so many times, but because the debt only increased, things have been tight, even though I worked hard. So I tried to stop all this, but I just couldn't help myself. So you couldn't stop it in the end, and you even started to use your own son's money. I did use your money for living expenses at first, but there was money there, so I couldn't stop myself. You 
before I realized it, I'd spent it. Mom, I'm thinking of going to live with Dad. No, don't do that. What I said about being motivated to work for your sake was true. I know it was wrong that I used your money. I will stop it this time, so please don't leave me alone, Ethan. This problem literally ended your marriage. And despite that, you couldn't learn from the past to get your act together? You even had to go and steal my money to fund your addiction. I'll stop it. I swear. This time I will. Ethan, I'm begging you. Mom, you must be sick. Telling me bad things about my dad to protect yourself. Lying to me. I don't feel like we can live together happily now. You had to go tell Ethan all about that, Douglas? Did you really want to take him away from me so badly? Why are you so selfish? You already have a family of your own? You married yourself to a new wife, right? You should be ashamed of yourself for abandoning me and our son. Katrina, you don't get it. You brought all this upon yourself. If you didn't come back into our lives, this never would have happened. We didn't have money, but we were happy. Ethan was happy when living together with me. He loves me, and I love him too. What would have happened if I didn't meet Ethan? Were you planning to make him pay off all the debts you racked up from that habit of yours? Sounds to me that you are the selfish one here, not me. No! I just wanted to be together with Ethan. Do you really mean that? I don't think you care as much as you say about Ethan. If you did, you would have quit your addiction. Well, I couldn't help it. I just need to unwind sometimes. You need to change your mindset about that. You were just relying on Ethan after all. I asked Ethan, but he was the one who offered his hard-earned money to contribute to the household. You just took advantage of his kindness, Katrina. But I tried to stop. I knew I had to quit to take the burden off Ethan. But you just thought that, right? In the end, you never took any action to follow through with your thoughts. But you're still telling me that you care about Ethan? Don't make me laugh. But... you don't understand. It's not as easy as you say. Ethan says he'll wait until you go to rehab. He... he did? You lied. You betrayed. And you hurt Ethan so many times. I don't plan on ever forgiving you for that. But Ethan says he wants to live with his mother again one day. Despite all that. Ethan! You can fix this if you truly want to recover so you can live with your son again. You kept betraying me right until the end, Katrina. So don't make the same mistake again. Turn your life around. After the incident, I moved in with Dad as we had planned. It was tough at first, trying to adapt to my new life with Dad and my stepmother. But over time, we've grown comfortable and become a real family. Meanwhile, Mom went to live with her parents. My grandparents are taking care of her and supporting her through rehab. Grandma tells me that Mom was really down about leaving me, but she's gradually getting better. She's also working on paying off her debts. But battling addiction isn't easy. I understand that I need to be patient as she goes through her recovery process. If she can't break her habit, I won't be ready to welcome her back into my life. I wanted her to make a genuine effort, even though I know it's incredibly challenging for her. I don't know when that day will come, but I eagerly anticipate the moment when we can enjoy living together again. In the meantime, I'm focusing on making the most of my own life. I'm pursuing my own dreams and goals, patiently awaiting the day when our paths can intertwine once more.